We're asked to find a cubic equation with roots one-half, negative one-third, and two using Vieta's formula. Vieta's formula relates the roots of a polynomial to its coefficients. For a cubic equation, if we let alpha, beta, and gamma be the roots of this cubic equation, then the sum and product of the roots are given by these three equations, where sum one equals s sub one, which equals alpha plus beta plus gamma, which equals negative b divided by a, and sum two equals s sub two, which equals alpha times beta plus beta times gamma plus gamma times alpha, which equals c divided by a, and following the product p equals alpha times beta times gamma, which equals negative d divided by a. Once we find these two sums and the product, we can use s sub one, s sub two, and p in this equation here to determine a cubic equation with roots alpha, beta, and gamma. Or we can go back to these equations and determine a, b, c, and d and use this form of a cubic equation. In this video, we will show both methods. To keep things organized, let's set alpha equal one-half, beta equal negative one-third, and gamma equal two. Let's begin by determining s sub one. s sub one is equal to, again, alpha plus beta plus gamma, which is one-half plus negative one-third plus two. Let's write plus two as plus two over one. And now we obtain a common denominator to determine the sum. The least common denominator is six. We write each fraction as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of six. Notice now we have a common denominator of six. And the numerator is three plus negative two plus 12 which gives us 13 sixths. Now we find S sub two, or sum two, which is equal to alpha times beta, which is one half times negative one third, plus beta times gamma, which is plus negative one third times two, or times two over one, and then plus gamma times alpha, which is two times one half. Now let's determine the products. Here we have negative one-sixth plus negative two-thirds or minus two-thirds. Then here we have plus two times one-half, which gives us plus one. Let's write that as plus one over one. And now we must obtain a common denominator. The least common denominator is six. So now we write each fraction as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of six. Now we have a common denominator of six, and the numerator is negative one minus four plus six, which gives us positive one-sixth. And now we need to find the product P, which is equal to alpha times beta times gamma, which is one-half times negative one-third times two, or times two over one, Simplifying before multiplying, there's one, two, and two here and here. And now multiplying, we have negative one-third. So now that we have S sub one, S sub two, and P, we can use this formula here to determine a possible cubic equation with the given roots. So we have X cubed minus S sub one X squared. S sub one is 13 sixths which gives us minus 13 sixth x squared. Then we have plus s sub two x. S sub two is one sixth, giving us plus one sixth x. And then we have minus p, because p is negative one third, we have minus negative one third, which is equivalent to plus one third. And this is equal to zero. So this is a possible cubic equation that has the given roots. But let's also find an equivalent cubic equation that doesn't contain fractions. Notice the least common denominator is six, and therefore, we can determine an equivalent equation without fractions by multiplying both sides by six. Let's do this on the next slide. So we multiply the left side by six and the right side by six. Six times x cubed is six x cubed, minus six times 13 six is 13, giving us minus 13 x squared. 
six times one sixth is one, giving us plus one x, or just plus x. And six times one third is two, giving us plus two. On the right side, we still have zero. So it's not wrong to use the equation with fractions, but this equation might be more common. Which brings up another important point. There are an infinite number of cubic equations that have these three roots. We can determine as many equivalent equations as we wish by multiplying both sides of the equation by any constant. Now let's go back and determine the equation of a cubic by determining the values of a, b, c, and d from the two sums and the product. So again, we already know that s sub one is equal to 13 sixth, but this must also equal negative b divided by a. And notice how I put the negative in the numerator, which will be helpful. And s sub two is equal to one sixth, which must also equal c over a, or c divided by a. And finally, the product p is equal to negative one third, or negative one over three, which is equal to negative d divided by a. Notice how for these three fractions, the denominators are all a, which means all three of these fractions must have the same denominator. And these two fractions already have a denominator of six, so let's multiply the numerator and denominator of negative one third by two, so it also has a denominator of six. So now we can say the product p is equal to negative two divided by six, which again is equal to negative d divided by a. So now we can disregard this equation here. And because all the denominators must be a, we can see that a must be equal to six. Looking at this equation, we know a is six, which means negative b must be 13, and therefore b is equal to negative 13. Looking at this equation, again, because we know a is six, c is equal to one. And finally, looking at this equation, because a is equal to six, negative d equals negative two, and therefore d equals positive two. So now we can use the values of a, b, c, and d and substitute into this cubic equation to determine a cubic equation with the given roots. Performing the substitution, we have six x cubed, and then plus bx squared would be plus negative 13 x squared, or just minus 13 x squared, and then plus cx is plus one x, or just plus x, and then plus d is just plus two, and this is equal to zero. So notice how this is the same equation we found earlier when we use this formula with s sub one, s sub two, and p. Again, this equation is the same equation we found earlier, which is here. I hope you found this helpful.